got this lovely casual long line necklace um, that I've made with this kit. It incorporates the jadeite, the cord, and that lovely sterling silver charm um, that you get into it. So jadeite always makes lovely calm jewellery and this with the softness of the thread I think really emphasises that. Now there's um, lots of questions I get asked about how to use this thread and attach findings. You can see here I've got quite a nice neat finish. So there are a few things in this design that I'd like to talk you through um, so that you can use your cord and, and achieve a nice neat finish too. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create um, a layered layered um, sort of neckline or necklace to suspend cords and things from or even a bracelet um, using the s -long cord without having lots of ends to finish off. So we're going to make a continuous loop and I'm going to do this on a very small scale because um, obviously my hands are going to go out of shot but it will apply no matter how big um, you want to make this or how many layers you want to make as well. It's completely up to you. So what I would do is I would take off my um, necklace length times, so the whole necklace length, and then run that length um, as many times as you want for as many layers. So if I wanted a 20 inch necklace, then um, for four layers, I would take off 80 inches, are you with me? And you know, double it up for as many layers as you like. So I'm gonna take off what, what I'm just going to, you know, do a, a make-believe number here. So I'm going to imagine I'm going to make a five, six, a six strand necklace. OK, so what I do is I cut my thread down. <clears throat> you can use your snips or some scissors for this. Um, cut it, cut it to the length you, you want. And then we're going to try, we're going to tie a, a knot. So this is a, a good knot that actually tightens the more it gets, the more it gets pulled. So it's, it's ideal for your jewellery making. You use this knot in stretchy bracelets and all sorts of things. Okay, so what we want to do is here I'm going to pop my um, right thread over my left thread. Now you can do this the opposite way around, doesn't matter whether you start with the left or right, but you just make sure that you reverse it on the next phase. So you, I've got my right thread over my left <clears throat> and I'm going to take that tail underneath and pull. So this is just like when you're doing up your shoelaces. And then we're going to repeat that. We're going to do it the opposite way. So then I'm going to take my left thread over my right and put that tail through the loop and pull. So I pull that knot nice and tight, pulling it evenly from all sides. And then if I pull that, it's going to make sure that you've pulled it evenly first. It will tighten the more you pull it. Okay, so that's, that's the knot you start with. And I'm going to get rid of these ends. If you've got a thread zapper, that's ideal for um, getting these ends off. If you haven't, you can use um, a flame, a candle, a tea light. If you're going to do a lot of this, a tea light going is probably quite good. Or you can just use a lighter. I'm just literally going to hover the flame near to the ends and very gently so that they sort of seal and turn into a knot. That way, if this knot does pull out, it's going to stop when it gets to those knots anyway. OK, so we've got this now, this massive loop. Well, it would be massive if it was a necklace. It's smaller here, but all you'll do then is turn. So you twist it and then put the two loops together and bring it. And then you've got this continuous loop here. OK, so you can do that for as many as you like. And then when it comes to adding your findings, you can just hook in a jump ring. You just pop in a jump ring here so you can just take a jump ring and hook it in can you hear that fly in the background i can't get rid of him um pop your jump ring in like so and you can see i've slid the knot just sort of there's the knot here I'm just sliding it just underneath where that jump ring is OK, now there's a few things you can do at this point. You can leave it open like that, but it, it is vulnerable to a bit of tangling if you leave it open like that. So what I've done in the necklace is I've put my findings on and then I've tied a knot with the whole thing underneath. And the, if you if you sort of try and get it in the right place, you'll be able to get that knot in the, the knot that you've tied inside the knot. So I'm taking all the threads together and passing that through 
and pulling and then that knot sits sits over the top of your join or should do if you take your time and then you've got um all your threads through your clasp there and you know there's no knotty edges or rough edges to finish okay so that's the one technique i wanted to show you the next one in the necklace is i've managed to set a um one of the jadeites inside that charm there so i'm just going to show you quickly how to do that so for this we need a length of our thread again just a, just a short length not too long and i'm going to just get a jadeite ready i'm going to take the thread and hook it around so find the there's a front and a back because the back has a hallmark so find the front hook the thread around not through just around the sort of um little bale area at the top so we're just going to find the center and hook it around so i've got two even tails of a thread and then i'm going to whilst keeping that tension around the bale area so just draw these to the same length keeping the tension around the bale area i'm then going to post the threads through that star shape in the charm. So post those through. Okay, I'm going to try and keep that tension all the time. And then I'm going to thread on one of my jadeites. Just take your time and thread that on and allow it to sit <laughs> it's come off let's do that again so let's try it this way this time so i'll thread the jadeite on if i do it this way i'll put it through the loop there through the star put the loop prop so if i do it this way or if you do it this way put the loop through the star and loop it over over the little loop at the top and pull it down like so okay then we want to take the threads back through so the the hole in the center of the star is not big enough to let the gem pass through so what we're going to do is we're going to pop the thread back through so that these threads are at the back again we're trying to keep that nice and tight so it doesn't fall out off so that's set now into the center. So we now need to finish these threads. So we're going to take one thread and thread it one side of where that, um, where the thread sort of passes through the middle with the gemstone on. Thread that through one way. And then we'll take the other side and thread that from the other side. And making sure that it sits into that point of the star to make it nice and neat. Okay, so once that's sat in there, we want to keep that nice and taut. So we're going to keep the tension. So you can see I'm pulling with my hand. I'm keeping the tension on there. And then we want to seal these. So again, the thread zapper is brilliant for this because it means you can get real precision. But I'm going to use a flame. Now you've got to be really careful because you can easily burn right through. So I'm going to take the flame. I'm just going to wave it across and push and then just keep pulling the threads up to see if they've caught. So that, that actually has nearly caught, so just wave it again, nearly, and one more time. And I think that has now caught and kept those threads, they're all sort of sealed and joined together now. I'm just going to do one more bit, there. sealed and joined together. So now I can cut, cut that away. And if you cut just below, where the so that they're just sticking off the end and then you can run your flame over and push those up so that you can't see them from the front and then you've got your bead just sat there nice and central in the middle you can still use the top then because there's nothing in the way so you can use a head pin or a jump ring to secure that to your your neckline and then you've also got an area here where you can make a dangle from the bottom as well, which would also hide the threads. So you can take that in any direction you like, but that's a, a good way of using the threads 
to set the gemstone in the middle. I hope those two tips were helpful um, and I hope you enjoy the kit. Bye.